In this video, I'm going to talk about what I take in my bag when I head out the door and travel independently. What's up VIPs? Welcome to the channel and today I'm going to answer a question that some people ask about what I take with me if I'm traveling independently. I mean, it's one thing if I'm with my wife or some sighted friends and I'm traveling with them, that might be a little bit different. But if I'm traveling independently, if I'm taking an Uber, if I'm taking public transportation, if I'm walking to some place, you know, a restaurant or store, there's probably some things I definitely want to have, especially if I'm traveling independently. By the way, if you're new to the channel, my name is Derek and I help individuals and families to discover life after sight loss. On this channel, you'll find product reviews, life advice, and questions and answers just like this video. So if you're new around here, consider subscribing to my channel and turning on notifications so you don't miss another single video. All right, so when I'm traveling independently, let's just go through a few things I like to have. First of all, I like to have a bag that I can travel with. Now, this is a bag, we actually bought this when we went to Disney World to carry, you know, random junk in, but it's been so nice. It uh, has a little strap on it and usually I will wear it forgive me if this hits the mic I'll wear it kind of over the shoulder you know like over my head onto one shoulder and it really works out well it's got a lot of nice pockets a lot of nice features I want something that I can have to put things in now if I'm going shopping you know I'm carrying a lot of stuff that's a little different but you know if I'm going somewhere and I buy something or I want to take something with me a bag is really important so I like to have something that's got some pockets you know it's got some decent storage but isn't going to be so heavy or whatever so that's the first thing have a nice bag then, of course, I've got to have my sunglasses. Now, this is sort of a given anytime you're out, but always have a nice pair of sunglasses. If you can get them polarized, I have found that's really helpful, and you can actually get polarized sunglasses for really cheap. Um, so, you know, just find your sunglasses. Next thing, I always have my AirPods because I love these things. I don't go anywhere without them because I can listen to voiceover. I can listen to music, a podcast if I'm in, uh, if I'm in an Uber or on the bus or something like that. Or if I'm in a store and I want to go through a, you know, find something online or if I'm at a restaurant and I want to go through the menu, I can pop in my AirBuds, or excuse me, my AirPods and, you know, do that. Now, I will also take, let me make sure, yes, I will take a wired set of earbuds as well. These are just some cheap ones I bought at Walmart or something, but they do have a nice, you know, foam rubbery kind of earbud that'll go in my ear. And these actually, since I have an iPhone 8 Plus, I have this thing on the end so I can plug it into my phone and listen to stuff. And speaking of which, I always have to have my phone. Now, this is my iPhone 8 Plus. You don't have to have the 8 Plus. You can have any sort of thing, but I use this constantly. It's my connection point to all kinds of stuff. Now, on this, you'll notice that I have a weird-looking case. This is a battery case and will charge my phone about a time and a half, depending on the situation. I always like to have a battery case because I'm using my phone a lot. Uh, and especially if I'm using something like Ira, which I've talked about before, uh, that takes up a lot of phone battery. So you want to make sure to have something to charge it with. Now, if you don't have a battery case, you can use something like this. This is a battery pack. And what you'll do is you will just plug in a cable, micro USB lightning cable, depending on your phone. You can plug it in here, plug it in your phone and charge it, stick it in your bag and it can charge. So these aren't very expensive at all. You can pick them up on Amazon and get them for pretty, pretty cheap. Now, of course, the one other thing you really got to have if you're traveling independently is your mobility tool. In my case, I have a white cane. You might have your dog. Probably if you have a dog, it's easier to remember going out the door, but you want to have this. And the reason you do is because when you're out on your own, not only do you need it for mobility and orientation and stuff like that, but you need it to let people know you have a vision problem. Somebody like me who doesn't, quote, look blind, and we've talked about that before, but it can get tricky because you tell people like, hey, can you help me with this? And they're like, what's, what's your deal? What, what do you mean? And if you have the cane, well, 90% of the time people will know and they will naturally want to help you or at least be willing to help you in certain situations. So make sure you have your cane with you, even if you're not, you know, whipping it out and hitting people with, you know, just have it with you because it can be very, very helpful. Now, that's just some of the things I take when I'm out on my own. If I'm traveling somewhere, if I'm going to a meeting, if I'm going to meet somebody for, you know, lunch or whatever the case is, I want to have those few key things with me. Now, obviously, I use Ira, so, you know, I want to have 
my Ira glasses that I have here. I've got another piece of tech in there that goes with it in my bag. You know, you want to have the things you use specifically. You know, if you have diabetes, then you want to have your, you know, a medication or you want to have your, you know, uh, orange tablets in case you need to get that sugar up or whatever. You need that kind of stuff as well. But there's just a few key things I always have with me. My phone, my AirPods, my cane, my sunglasses, my bag. If I'm traveling independently, that's the kind of stuff I need to take so that in case I need to get in touch with somebody, in case I need to listen to music because I'm waiting for something. Because sometimes we get places early just because we can't predict the Uber and their timing. You know, that's okay. But for the most part, that's the kind of stuff I take in my bag when I travel independently. So my question for you today is this, what do you travel with when you're out there being independent? Do you always have your phone and your earbuds? Or is there something else you love to take and battery packs and canes and all that sort of thing? I'd love to hear about it and I'm sure others would as well. So let me know in the comments below. Hey, if you like this video, if you found it helpful, make sure to show your support by giving that thumbs up, you know, hitting that like button and sharing it out with somebody that you know. And if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you won't miss another video. Thanks so much for watching wherever you are. And until next time, remember that sight loss isn't the end. It's just the beginning. My name's Derek Daniel from lifeaftersightloss.com and I'll see you in the next one.